90 witnesses, both adults and children, are lined up to testify against preacher Paul and Denge Mackenzie and his 94 co-accused as the manslaughter charge hearing against them begins. The case that took off on Monday at the Mombasa Law Courts is said to be heard for the next five days, with Mackenzie and his co-accused intent to demonstrate to the court how the deaths at Shakahola were not as a result of his doctrines, but as a personal choice for his followers. And as Kamau Mwangi reports, the hearing continues on Tuesday with 94 accused persons after one of them died in custody. Paul Ndenge Mackenzie, leader of the Good News International Ministries, alongside his 94 co-accused, were back at the Mombasa Law Courts Monday, this time to kickstart the manslaughter case leveled against them in a marathon hearing that will see 90 protected witnesses testify for the next five days. The charge seeks to nail Mackenzie alongside his co-accused on the basis of an unwritten common agreement between him and his followers in what the prosecution is calling a suicide pact whose objective was to see all of them starve themselves to death. The accused persons collectively agreed to engage in starvation or fasting among other extreme practices leading to the loss of over 429 lives in a manner that depicted direct and indirect suicide pacts between them aimed at such loss of lives. In their account, the first witness who took to the stands narrated how Mackenzie oversaw the suffocation of some of his followers who could not die from starvation, confirming autopsy reports that Adalia showed that some of the persons exhumed at Shakahola had died as a result of strangulation. The accused persons had planned to have everyone in the church die from starvation or fasting, starting from children to their mothers and finally their fathers, in a false belief or religious victory thereafter. The matter before you is a question of Article 32, read all the way to Article 35 of the Constitution of Kenya 2010. It's the freedom of assembly, freedom of religion, <coughs> and has nothing to do with the charges as drawn before you, Your Honor. And with the exhumation of his five complete at the forest, Mackenzie's defense hopes to convince the coastal court that the deaths witnessed at Shakahola Forest were not as a result of religious indoctrination by the man of cloth. Mackenzie and his co-accused are facing four other charges, including murder at the Malindi High Court, terrorism charges at the Shanzu Law Courts, as well as child abuse charges at the Tononoka law courts. And our rebuttal will be the same, that in their exercise of their freedom of religion, assembly and expression, there was no suicide pact. There was no suicide. And there was no death attributable to religion. The hearing continues Tuesday before Chief Magistrate Alex Ifuku with 94 accused persons present after the 57th accused person Mary Charombita died in custody at the Shimolatewa Maximum Security Prison. Kamau Mwangi, Citizen TV.